Hey everyone! Today we're diving into one of the most fascinating and unexpected connections in medical science. How a simple vegetable might play a role in understanding HIV treatment. I know what you're thinking about the connection between broccoli and HIV. Stick around, because this story is going to blow your mind. Imagine a world where the key to understanding a complex viral infection might be sitting right on your dinner plate. Today we're exploring the incredible scientific journey that links broccoli to HIV research. Segment 1. Understanding HIV and its impact. First, let's talk about HIV. Human immunodeficiency virus, or HIV, attacks the body's immune system, specifically the CD4 cells, which are crucial for fighting infections. Over time, if untreated, HIV can lead to AIDS, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, where the immune system is severely compromised. To understand this connection, we first need to go back to the basics. HIV, human immunodeficiency virus, has been one of the most challenging medical mysteries of the past few decades. Since its discovery in the early 1980s, scientists have been on a relentless quest to understand, treat, and ultimately defeat this virus. Currently, there are about 1.2 million people living with HIV in the United States alone. While antiretroviral therapy has significantly improved the lives of many, chronic inflammation remains a major concern for those living with the virus. Key points. HIV attacks. The immune system, specifically CD4 T cells, antiretroviral treatments have transformed HIV from a fatal diagnosis to a manageable chronic condition. Ongoing research continues to seek innovative approaches to treatment. But here's where our story takes an unexpected turn. While researchers were exploring complex pharmaceutical interventions, something remarkable was happening in the world of nutritional science. For anyone seeking quick, private, and confidential HIV testing, don't hesitate to visit HIVRNATest.com for essential information. We have more than 4,500 plus testing labs across the United States. Your health is a priority and we're here to support you every step of the way. Segment two, the role of nutrition in managing health. Now you might be wondering how nutrition plays into this. Well, research has shown that dietary choices can significantly impact health outcomes for individuals living with HIV. One particular group of foods stands out, cruciferous vegetables like broccoli. These vegetables are packed with nutrients and compounds that may help manage inflammation and improve overall health. Segment three, what is sulforaphane? So what exactly is sulforaphane? This powerful compound is produced when cruciferous vegetables are chopped or chewed. It has gained attention for its potential health benefits. Sulforaphane has been studied for its antioxidant properties and its ability to activate the NRF2 pathway, a key player in cellular defense mechanisms. The science of sulforaphane. Enter sulforaphane, a compound found in cruciferous vegetables, with broccoli being the superstar. But what exactly is this mysterious molecule? Sulforaphane is a sulfur-rich compound that's produced when broccoli is chopped or chewed. It's part of the plant's natural defense mechanism, but for humans, it's become a fascinating subject of medical research. Scientific breakdown. Produced when glucoraphanin, found in broccoli, encounters the enzyme myrosinase, belongs to a class of compounds called isothiocyanates. Known for potential anti-inflammatory and anti-cancer properties. Segment four, sulforaphane and HIV research. Findings. Now let's delve into some exciting research findings regarding sulforaphane and its effects on HIV. A groundbreaking study published in 2016 demonstrated that sulforaphane can inhibit HIV infection in macrophages, immune cells that play a critical role in the body's response to infection. Researchers found that by activating the NRF2 pathway, sulforaphane could block HIV from replicating within these cells. HIV and macrophage research. Recent studies have uncovered something extraordinary. Researchers found that sulforaphane can potentially inhibit HIV infection in macrophages, a critical type of immune cell, through a mechanism called the NRF2 pathway. Research highlights, sulforaphane activates the NRF2 pathway, which helps cells defend against oxidative stress. This activation might create an environment less hospitable to viral infection. Preliminary studies show promising results in laboratory settings. Now, I wanna be crystal clear. This doesn't mean broccoli is a cure for HIV, but it represents something incredibly important in medical research, unexpected connections and potential new avenues of treatment, nutritional implications and future research. So what does this mean for the average person? 
While we can't claim broccoli as an HIV treatment, this research underscores the incredible potential of nutrition in supporting health. Key takeaways. Diet plays a crucial role in overall health and immune function. Continued research is essential to understand these complex interactions. Sulforaphane represents just one of many potential nutritional compounds with medical significance, segment five, mechanism of action. But how does this work? When macrophages are treated with sulforaphane, it reprograms their gene expression through NRF2 activation. This process helps to halt the virus after it has entered the cell, but before it integrates into the host's DNA. Segment six, broccoli's broader health benefits. Beyond its potential anti-HIV properties, broccoli and other cruciferous vegetables offer numerous health benefits. Anti-inflammatory effects. They help reduce chronic inflammation. Cancer protection. Regular consumption may lower the risk of various cancers. Immune support. Nutrients in broccoli can boost overall immune function. Segment seven, practical tips for incorporating broccoli into your diet. So how can you incorporate more broccoli into your diet? Here are some simple tips. Add it to smoothies. Blend raw broccoli into your morning smoothie for an extra nutrient boost. Steam or saute. Lightly steam or saute broccoli to retain its nutrients while making it delicious. Broccoli salads. Create a crunchy salad with raw broccoli, nuts, and a tangy dressing. Broccoli soup. Make a creamy soup using pureed broccoli for a comforting dish. Segment eight, conclusion. In conclusion, while more research is needed to fully understand the extent of sulforaphane's effects on HIV management, these findings highlight an exciting intersection of nutrition and health. Now, I want to be crystal clear. This doesn't mean broccoli is a cure for HIV, but it represents something incredibly important in medical research, unexpected connections and potential new avenues of treatment. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Have you tried incorporating more cruciferous vegetables into your diet? Don't forget to subscribe for more content on health and nutrition. Thanks for watching. Stay healthy and see you next time. Disclaimer. The information in this video is for educational purposes only. Always consult healthcare professionals for medical advice, and remember that ongoing research continues to evolve our understanding of HIV and nutrition.